here, uh, Bates Outdoor, and I want to talk about uh, solar systems. Um, I upgraded my solar system. I, ch I, I originally bought a ZAMP system, and the ZAMP system, you can see right here, it just plugs into the side of the coach right here, and you can just buy a suitcase panel, put them on there. I bought a 200 watt system with my last RV, and with this new RV, this, this Class C RV, I said, hey, I want to permanently mount those. Uh, the panels were big and bulky. They're hard to store. So this, is, this video is about what I did to convert my ZAMP panels to permanently mount them on top of my RV. It doesn't really matter the panels that you use um, or the controller. It's just you got to put your system together and know what you have. So on the back of your panel, there will be ratings on here. And we'll go through these. And I did several videos while I was doing this, and I'll, and I'll share them with you. But this is the ZAMP controller that came with the system. It failed me several times, so I just removed it. Even when I had it on the ground there, I had to, I, it would fail. I even had to call ZAMP a couple times and say, hey, what's going on with this? And uh, they explained it to me, but basically you had to disconnect it and reconnect it. Kind of a pain in the butt. Who wants to deal with all that? So I upgraded to an MPPT controller, uh, an MPP20. Um, I'll put the link to this uh, controller down there. It'll be MPPT controller. It'll handle uh, 100 volts. The max PVs is 100 volt DC power. Uh, my panels put out about eh, a little less than 50. I could upgrade again um, and add a few more panels to this system. Roughly, I can add about another 150 watts to the system with the controller that I have. I've got several videos here. I'll fast forward through some of them. Some of them I'll slow down and let you see what I did. But solar's pretty simple. It's just having the right controller. And then, you know, there's a lot to it because there's batteries and voltage and everything. My coach is all 100% 12 volt. So my TVs, my invert, or all my DVD players, everything in there, they're all 12 volt. The, when I purchased the coach, so this just makes sense to have a nice solar system to keep my batteries topped off because we do a lot of dry camping. So again, so how do you convert your ZAMP panels into permanently mounting them? So while I'm up here, there's a couple things I wanted to finish. One thing is I don't have an air gap between here and these panels get very hot. So we'll switch the wiring over to series from parallel to series and then we'll go ahead and raise the panels up and that's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to uh, it's just a half a little half inch air gap there because it gets very hot underneath the panels. So let's get. Okay, YouTube, so here I've done all my soldering. I, I re-soldered the connectors. You could possibly not do that and just run the wires, but I just wanted to solder mine. Um, I soldered this joint right here, so I will go ahead and, not the prettiest, but I will go ahead and uh, heat, heat shrink that. And then I'll go ahead and close the system up. We'll back it out and we should be at 42 on our uh, PVs. And if we are, we know we've got it wired correctly. Um, but we, it will be. It's all I, all I did was take the positive coming out of here and it runs straight down to the controller. And then the negative out of here and run it straight down to the controller. And then run this one right here, run my positive. Sorry, I ran this negative over to the positive over here. And that's all I had to do. So YouTube, one thing I want to point out here is I ended up rewiring everything on this uh, panel. So doing that, I put the correct connectors on here, um, got my positive, my negative, but something I want to check real quick is my, uh, my voltage coming out of the panels to make sure all my wiring is working correctly. Because what was happening is after I wired it, we using the, the ZAMP wiring, it wasn't working. So I had to, and the way you can tell here is see this number right here this 21.6. So coming out of the end of my panel here, that's open circuit voltage, and that's the max that it can be putting out. So then you come over here, you take your test meter, and we put positive to negative, so that's positive. 
Okay, so with those both connected, that should be reading about 42 volts. And you can see right here, I have a good reading on my thing, and I'm reading about 41.6. So close enough, man, with the sun out and everything. So we know that we have good connections and good wire coming out of the solar panel. So, so now that we have uh, all the panels working correctly, we can go ahead and move inside here. This is where I had the controller mounted previously. And you can see the monitor panel and the controller here. And I'm going to move those and uh, wire it closer to the battery is what I'm going to do. So tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out a place to drill these holes. So I'm going to look right here on the inside. Uh, and that'll be easy one for there. And then on, I'm going to go inside this cabinet here. And probably somewhere right in here underneath here, I'll show you in a second, we'll drill our other hole. You can see that one was pretty easy. We just drilled a nice hole and then I'll put a grommet in there. So after doing some measuring and checking, <coughs> I think we're all right to drill our hole. Like literally, we're gonna drill it right there. You can see my hole right there that's going into the battery box. And again, we'll, we'll foam spray this all, but we'll do all the foam spraying after we get done. And then you see my other hole right up there through the bottom of the floor. So that's where we'll run our wires for our inverter and the solar panel. All right, so tonight we got the controller installed and we got uh, our holes drilled. It looks horrible, but after I get it all cleaned up, <laughs> it'll be fine. So then right here too, you can see now I've got all my wires, I've got my two. And then I just periodically uh, um, mark that one yellow so I know that that's the positive coming out of the panel. So I've already uh, run wires out of here before, so I'll just clean it up now and keep going. I think I'm going to mount my inverter down underneath that in this compartment right here. <coughs> I had it up in that compartment right there, but I don't like it up there because you can't get to it. Okay, YouTube, so now the moment of truth here. You can see I finished the wiring up here. I've got my positives marked. I uh, heat shrunk those on there so that there's no mistake in it later on down the road if somebody else ever went to change it. And I did the same thing at the battery ends down here. So right now you can see everything's working at the batteries connected, the UV panel. So when I select and I wanna to go to my PVs, that's the power coming out of the, uh, the solar. Okay, so that's my PVs right there. And you can see we're reading 13. Well, I'll go ahead and pull this out in the sun here, and that should pop up to, well, it's a little bit late in the day. So I'm going to say I would be happy with a 38, 36, 37, 38, somewhere around there reading. So we'll see what it does. Okay, so you guys can see here, I'm completely running off the battery now and the solar. And that's what's going to the battery. That's my amps which is absolutely correct. So the PV on this should be, when it's perfect sunlight out there in the not, so right now it's uh, 34s are my PVs, that's the power, the voltage coming from the panel. And it's 34. In the heat of the day, in the heat of the sun, that will read uh, 40, 41, 38, 39, somewhere right around there. So you can see everything's working beautifully um, over here. We have our control panel so and I can take all these readings so a couple things I'm doing this time is I've moved the, the control panel up underneath these drawers right here a and the reason I did that for a couple of reasons one is I rent the coach out a little bit so I really don't want anybody messing with this controller I have all my visuals here on the side here, right there, so I can see what the panel's doing. And then, you know, it just keeps everything out of the way. Nobody can touch any wires. And the only thing I got left to do now is clean everything up, vacuum this uh, all up, uh, clean it all up, and then put my heat sensor from that, from the controller over to the thing. So now it's time to clean up all the wiring underneath here so you can see the hole that I put it for the go into the battery box and the one that comes out from underneath here. So we'll get this wiring cleaned up. I'll put it in a loop and then we can uh, go ahead and start foaming, foam fill everything back up. So just nice and clean there. That's going into the battery box. 
and that's the one coming out of the bottom of the coach you can see it right there so just a nice clean job can't really tell the difference between the factory and what I did a couple zip ties one on each end boom Alright YouTube, uh, Paul Bates here, Bates Outdoor. Anyway, I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We appreciate your time. I hope you learned something. Um, please hit that like, subscribe, and um, uh, hit that bell so you can see the videos in here. We do lots of dry camping, me and Bev and uh, Daisy, so uh, we enjoy our solar system and we plan on having it for years and years and years and I'm doing a lot of upgrades to this coach this year so watch them in my RV tips. Thank you, have a good day and I hope to see you at the campground soon. Peace out, thanks.